A good education, especially in the K-12 through years, is key to the well-being of individuals and communities as a whole. However, fixing the achievement gap among the many different student populations continues to be a big challenge. Historically, there have been a number of reports that identify that we have achievement gap. So the fact of the matter is we really don't need any more studies saying we have an achievement gap because we know we have an achievement gap. The goal with this center is to identify how to close that achievement gap. That's where we need to take the conversation. Assemblymember Patrick O'Donnell, chair of the Assembly Education Committee and a former middle and high school teacher himself, authored legislation and obtained funding in the California state budget for the creation of the CSU Center to close the opportunity gap. The center will be housed at the School of Education at CSU Long Beach. A virtual opening of the center was held to highlight its goals. Long Beach State is a perfect place to house the center to close the opportunity gap because we have many teacher credential candidates that go through Long Beach State. They get their teaching credentials here. So this center will help inform our teaching credential candidates how best to help us across the state of California close the achievement gap. I don't buy into the idea that it's going to take years to close the achievement gap. We need to act and we need to act now. So what is the center to close the opportunity gap? It's very simple. It's an effort uh, to call all the information associated with helping students succeed academically into one place, into one spot, kind of a one-stop shop uh, for teachers across the state, those that are training to be teachers across the state, to uh, learn about how to best close the achievement gap. Over the last 10 years, California has worked on significant reforms to try to provide more equitable access to educational opportunities with the goal of reducing and ultimately eliminating the achievement gap. However, black, Latino, and poor students continue to fall behind their white, Asian, and wealthier counterparts. California, in fact, our nation has a problem. We have too many students that are foster kids, that are English learners, that are low-income kids that are not achieving. The impact of the achievement gap on California is significant because what it means is that some of our students are succeeding while others aren't. Certainly, California should offer opportunity to all students to succeed academically so that they can have successful lives in their post-academic career. But also this speaks to California's economy because if we have a number of kids not achieving academically, they are not going to be full participants in our economy. So we need to address this issue. 